Hello and welcome to Infinity. When we're making a selection such in this picture with the horizon and the tree all pretty rough, um, then we can't just do a rectangle. We typically would use something like the selection brush and then do a refine on it. And it can be a bit tricky. Another way of going about it is to use the threshold. Let's have a look at what we mean there. So we go to the adjustments and the threshold. And as we drag up, it turns the picture into a black and white, hard black and white, with anything to the left of here being in black and anything to the right of this control being in white. So here we have the, the tree going quite nicely. So we kind of get a pretty good selection of the tree as we go up here. However, the horizon's pretty not, you haven't got a clear edge to it. If we keep going and keep going, the tree is now getting wiped out, but the horizon's improving. Until we get somewhere further up here, we're going, well, yeah, I could take that as the horizon. Yeah, we can see through the trees and things like that. That's good enough. But we lost the tree. But don't worry, we just take one at a time. So if I right click on the image and say merge visible, it's going to create a layer above here with what I can see here. So I'll turn that off for now. <clears throat> I'll go back to the layer. If I can double click on the threshold. So this should now change the picture again. Here we go. I'm going to go back out just to get the tree. So there we go. <clears throat> now I've got the tree appearing here. It doesn't matter about the background. And I will now do another one of those. So right click on the image and merge visible. And I've got another layer above me now. So I've got two layers here. I want to merge together. There's the one at the top. It's got the horizon. One at the bottom there has got the, the tree. So what I'm going to do to merge them together is simply to use the darken blend. <coughs> so from here, just go to darken. Nothing happens as yet. But what it means is that it's going to take the darkest pixels of each of those two trees. So these two layers here. So I'm just going to get the brush, the paintbrush over here. Make sure I've got white selected. Plenty of opacity right up. Hardness. Uh, that can be right up too. That's fine. Because I'm just going to paint in. So I'm on the top layer here. <coughs> I'm going to paint this here. Basically I'm going to force it to take the bottom layer, the second layer down here. It's not doing any more here because now we're on the bottom layer. If I take that top layer off, you can see we've got the bottom layer there. So I'm going to just go down to that one. Now I can paint away <coughs> this up here. In fact, if I go over the tree, I can undo myself. So I can just go around here. And it's not working there. That's because I've got to go back to the top layer. I missed a bit up there again. I can also switch to black. <coughs> and just fill in the bits down here. I'm going to get all of that there. And I'll make the brush smaller with the left square bracket. Just to say I want to put all this lot to be a part of this thing. Basically I'm dividing the picture into two. One bit's going to got the sky and the other bit's got kind of everything else. And any other odd bits here, I can always switch between black and white and kind of paint those away. So there we are. Here's my mask. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to right click here and merge down. So I've got those two layers into a mask now. I'm going to turn that layer then with layer and rasterize to mask. And I've got a mask layer. It looks pretty funny. That's because it's trying to mask this layer below. Below here, I'm going to take out the threshold. Don't need that anymore. Right click and delete. <coughs> and this is what's masked out the fact of the sky here. If I want to select the, the ground and work on that rather than the sky, I can do control I to invert the mask. Now I've got this. So if we put this into a control, let's say do a curves, what it's done here is put the curves underneath the mask. We want it the other way around. And you can just drag it around there. Drag this up over the curve so you get that vertical blue bar. 
and there we go so now the mask is masking this and so we can now only need to do the ground so if we want to just darken the ground down a bit here we go and we're only affecting the ground but not the sky so there we go hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching